Uh, Michigan State, Indiana. We've got Michigan State four and a half point road favorites, 48 and a half the total here uh, in this game. Uh, it's an interesting one between uh, these two teams. Certainly, uh, Michigan State, uh, outstanding job and turnaround for this program this year under uh, Mel Tucker. Uh, 31 13 win uh, against Rutgers. There was nothing fraudulent or fortuitous about that victory for Michigan State. They were better than Rutgers, they outgained them by 223 yards. Uh, on a yards per play basis, they were 4.6 yards per play better than Rutgers. I mean, that was dominance, really. It could have been worse for Rutgers. Yeah, they kicked their ass. They kicked their ass. 339 through the air. I like what I'm seeing out of Peyton Thorne. He's become a pretty solid quarterback, count trustworthy for Michigan State. And Kenneth Walker's just an absolute animal, beast, yeah. monster uh, on the ground. 233 yards on the ground for him in the victory against Rutgers. And look, Rutgers had a pretty solid defense until these last two weeks when they ran up against Ohio State and Michigan State. But, no, this team's rolling right now. I like Michigan State, to be honest with you. I mean, they pretty much covered every number outside of the Nebraska game, which they just fell short, you know, of covering that game, but they still won in overtime, 23-20. Now, it is a bye week for Indiana, okay? But Indiana, I worry where they're at mentally, okay? They've already lost to Iowa. They've already lost to Penn State. They got shut out before their bye week, 24 nothing. Uh, they lost yeah. to Cincinnati. They have three losses on their schedule, this team. How much confidence can this team possibly have? You know, Michael Penix Jr. was so bad uh, against Penn State. He got benched. Jack Tuttle took over. There's a little bit of a quarterback controversy that it's not a for sure that we'll see Penix starting here. I don't know. Michigan State, to me, even with Indiana off the bye, that's the only thing to me that I see an advantage for with the Hoosiers. Okay, they got the bye week, extra time to prepare. Other than that, I don't see how they're the better team right now. And to me, this is still, with Michigan State, they've been undervalued for the entire year from a spread perspective. And it feels like, to me, they're still undervalued in this price range. So even though they're going on the road to a team off a of bye, I don't know if I can trust Indiana to show up mentally with three losses, three disappointing losses already on their resume. So at this number, it's Michigan State or nothing for me. What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, I mean, you count the Idaho game. I guess they covered that, but they can't. They haven't covered this team, Indiana. And now at home, I think it's still a short price with Michigan State. I just, you could think Indiana still is Penix Jr. They still have rankings from maybe them last year. That's all I can think of because this football team has not looked good. I mean, they got shut out, you know, at Penn State, and Penn State is good, but I think this is still short. This number. I don't like you talked about the only thing going good for them is they, you know, had a week off and they're at home. I mean, I can't take Indiana. I would need way more points after watching Michigan state all year. And last week, um, they've been going on the road and just kicking ass. I'd only lay it with Michigan state here four and a half. Yeah. Total agreement. Four and a half, five. This is current number. I think it's, I think it's cheap on Sparty uh, in this 